Well, seems like these days to get the uh, the views and the subscribers and everything on YouTube, you gotta you gotta talk foolish, you know. Seems like you gotta just like talk like really goofy and you know. Guess you gotta just you know strap a camera you know, to yourself somewhere and just uh, go about your day, you know, don't explain anything, just, uh, you know, have the camera shaking all around and showing different things and uh, rambling on and talking foolish and uh, that's, that's how you get the views, I guess, seems like it. Or you could just, uh, you know, have a uh, heated shop, you know, with a lift and all the tools, and uh, don't use it at all. You know, you could just just do everything outside in the cold and the snow and then complain about it. That also, I find, um, gets, you know, some pretty good views on the old videos, you know. I don't know. It's a world we live in. You could also, um, you know, take a worthless junk car and, you know, mash your foot down on the pedal, hold it down until it blows, and uh, I also found those videos get some pretty good views. I, I don't know, I, I don't know anything about it though. So I was having a little problem with my uh, 99. GMC Sierra. You know, it's got the uh, 5.3 with the 4L60, and um, when I got it, it had a blown up transfer case, so I replaced that and uh, just swapped in, you know, I used one there. And um, the truck was seen pretty good, driving it for a while, used it, towing with it and stuff, and, you know pretty much liked it um, it started doing a thing where it would just uh, sometimes you'd pull up to a stop sign and it would it wouldn't downshift it would still be in like you know second or third or something and uh, you just uh, put it down into first and you know you'd be all set and it would, it would be fine but then other times you, you, uh, you wouldn't catch overdrive um, wouldn't shift into overdrive at all, so it was kind of a weird thing. Um, <clears throat> started doing some research, and uh, <clears throat> a lot of people on the internet said that uh, could be the could be a lot of things, but um, it sounded like to me <clears throat> could be the the shift solenoids, which uh, is. Uh, one of the culprits right there. This is what they look like. You just uh, drop down the transmission pan and uh, these just stick right in there. You got a couple of clips that hold them in. A little electrical connector. Not too bad to replace. Very easy actually. Um, so I could get the kit, you know off Amazon, it was like 50 bucks or something like that, it comes with the gasket and the filter and stuff, 
of course you got to buy the fluid but <clears throat> I said well I might as well try it you know it doesn't seem like a bad truck so then I was uh, thinking <clears throat> it's got uh, that truck has two cats on it and uh, just kind of looked up the numbers on those and those were worth 300 bucks for the pair and uh, being a 99 up here doesn't have to pass emissions or anything so <clears throat> I said well let me go ahead and cut those cats off cash them in and get the cash from that and then uh, you know to make it a little better to uh, spend some money on the transmission stuff and do that so <clears throat> I uh, cashed in the, um, the cats as you've seen from that blazer and uh, I got myself um, these dollies so I figured that for now uh, it'd be an easy way to move the Suburban over and then uh, give me some room to get the red truck in here so I could do the job so I got it in here and got it all set up and ready to go and then I had to go to Florida as you see I had to drive that Mustang to Florida so the truck sat in here and then when I was gone the blue truck <clears throat> you know I mean, uh, I'm not like most guys, you know, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You know the old uh, 2001 Blue Silverado. She uh, <clears throat> popped a brake line while I was gone, so I got back, had to uh, move the red truck out and get that in here. And... Uh, you know how that goes, you do one, and then another one blows, but uh, I got that fixed, and uh, changed the oil while I was in here, so got that done, got it out, brought the red truck back in, sliced the cats off, <clears throat> went and cashed them in, and uh, I had already ordered myself the... Uh, solenoid kit so went ahead and uh, popped those in clean the the pan was it was pretty clean inside not a lot of sludge or anything in there um, got those in and <clears throat> well I was uh, I just went and got a couple of pipes it only cost me about 20 bucks you know for uh, couple of lengths of uh, two and a half inch pipe to put in where the cats were while I was wrestling with that I didn't realize the rest of the exhaust was a little bit rusty back there uh, the tailpipe was disconnected I didn't even know that um, it, it wasn't even hooked up to the muffler anymore that was just kind of hanging there and uh I heard a noise and the, the muffler fell right off <clears throat> while I was wrestling with the front Y pipe. So, let me uh, back out to the cold and uh, show you what's going on with that. So, you can see what I did. I just clamped them in for now because I didn't want to get too fancy with welding and stuff. You know, I wanted to make sure that the transmission was going to be okay and I wouldn't have to send this thing packing. What I didn't realize when I was wrestling around with the exhaust see that flange right there where that intermediate pipe hooks to on the other side of that somebody's been throwing blueberries at it trying to weld it together so 
I disturbed that area and uh, there's a big gap right there so uh, needless to say it's pretty loud and uh, it was really loud with no muffler so I ended up just uh, stuffing in this old rusty cherry bomb that used to be on the Suburban just for temporary Just tossed a little bit of weld at it, get it to stay in there. But uh, the goal will be to uh, that intermediate pipe is uh, it's only about forty bucks. So what I'd like to do is. Eventually weld up those front pipes nice so there's no leaks or anything and uh, Buy that intermediate pipe and then I'm probably gonna <clears throat> Put some sort of a Not quiet muffler and uh, probably just bring it right out the side here Nice racing exhaust right there in the middle. Right where that gap is. But... So, that's pretty much uh, what's been going on. Seems like uh, the solenoids did the trick. Um, so far, I mean, I haven't driven it too much. But uh, I put a few miles on it. Everything seems to be working fine. So, hopefully. And, uh... The exhaust will just have to be like that for right now. Probably be able to, uh, my plan would be, you know, I got to get that new intermediate pipe. There's no way around that because, you know, that, that flange and everything right there, you can't really mess with that. Um, sits up in the cross member kind of, so I might as well just get that pipe eventually and, uh, you know, I'll put something on there, <laughs> nice thrush or some sort of muffler, and uh, probably reuse this this bend here on the tailpipe and uh, weld that up so it comes right out the side, dumps out. So there you go. I managed to uh, make a video and you know pretty much talk like I normally would as a human being that I am 
Um, but probably, you know, probably won't get the views because, uh, you know, people don't like that. One thing, you don't need a fridge up here. No, no, no fridge needed. Ice cold. <sighs> Hopefully spring comes soon. For those of you who uh, are watching, here's my normal self, and uh, I'll see you on the streets.